everyone, welcome back to another Procreate Dreams tutorial. Today we're going to be animating a UFO scene, so let's get started. Everything's on separate layers. Alright, and we're going to bring this into Procreate Dreams, so if you hit the plus sign up here you can make a new movie. I'm going to do a widescreen here, it's going to be for YouTube, so, uh, what is it, 1920 by 1080 I think. And empty file. So now we're going to go back over to Procreate and I'm going to hold that down, move it around, hit my home screen, and go to Dreams and drop that in. So that's going to bring it in our Procreate file. If you want this Procreate file, uh, it will be over on my Patreon. You can go check that out. If you join, you'll get four, four assets worth of videos per month, and also you'll get a Patreon only exclusive video so I'm just making this fit my screen size here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to long press on it and we're going to convert layers to tracks and what that's going to do is going to create a group with all of our layers intact so that's what we want alright so for the first thing we want to animate I think I'll do the stars first this the tiny stars so what I'm going to do is, I think it's this one, let me make sure, I'll turn it off and on to make sure. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so basically what I want them to do is to uh, do an opacity in and out, in and out. So just kind of make them shine, get bright, and get dim, and get bright again. So I'm going to take my keyframe out to maybe let me make this a little bit shorter so maybe about one second I guess let's see if that will be good and I'm going to tap on the little clicker there clacker we're gonna to go to filter we're gonna to go to opacity and we're going to set that down to about 50 percent so right there then I'm going to move the playhead out a little bit more, click on it again, and put that opacity back up. Okay, let's see how fast that blink is. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, so I'm going to do that again. So we're going to click it again, take it down to 50, move the playhead over some, click it again, move it back up to 100 move the playhead over, click it again, move it to 50, and so on and so on. And then bring it back up. Alright, and then to keep me from having to do that over and over and over again, what I'm going to do is move up where we get the little clacker again, tap on it, edit it, and split the track. And then we're going to delete that side. So then we'll have this side with all of the animations on it. We're just going to copy it and we're going to bring the playhead over here and paste it in again. Alright, there we go. And I want this animation to be about 10 seconds, I think. So let's set that first uh, duration, 10 seconds. And then I want the frames per second to be maybe frame by frame, 12, 12 frames per second, and hit done. And now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's good. And actually, since we shorten that, we don't need to copy it because that one part that we made extended beyond the 10 seconds. So if you if you don't think that those animations are good enough. You can always like click on them, hold it down, and you can move them, slide them around. You can make them a little bit faster if you want, but I think it's fine. Uh, you guys can do whatever you want to on yours. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the bigger stars. All right, so let me find where they are at. And I think that is these lines right here. All right, so what we're going to do is for these... Maybe let's do some performance mode on these. 
So the first thing I want to do is edit my anchor point and I want to put that maybe down on the bottom there. I think that's fine. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is get get the performance mode ready. Click on that where we get the little curve button right there and then as soon as we start moving it, it's going to start recording. And that is not doing it what I wanted it to. Performance mode again. There we go. So we're just going to rock it back and forth. Until it gets past that 10 second mark. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Let me zoom out. And that first move was a little bit quick, but you know we can we can fix that. We can, what we can do is we can uh, take out some of these keyframes. Maybe that one too. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. So you can just see the the stars just kind of rocking back and forth. All right, that's fine. That's what we wanted. Let's do another one. So we're gonna do this one next. We're going to move move in scale and then we want to make sure that we put our anchor point so click on the little three dots edit the anchor point we're gonna put it right down here at the bottom alright so that's good and then we're gonna click on performance mode we're gonna click on a corner there so we get that little curve line and then there we go so I'm just gonna rock it Till we get to our 10 second mark. I don't think we got to our 10 second mark yet. Nope, we didn't. Okay. So, again, we'll continue that. Why is it doing that? Maybe I've got my finger too far away from that little curve line. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So, you gotta have your finger a little bit closer to that. All right, we're past it now. Yep, that's good. That's what I wanted. Okay, very good. Take off performance mode. Let's go to the another star. And that's going to be the blue one next. So you're going to click on it. Move, move in scale. And then we're going to set that. Edit the anchor point, And we're going to put it right down there at the bottom. Okay. And then set it to performance mode. Click on a corner till we get that curved line. There we go. And then just rock it back and forth. All right. We got fat. Did we get past it? I don't think we did. Looks like it's back at 20 seconds again. Let me look. It is. What happened there? So I'm going to change this to 10 seconds again. All right. Let's look at our animation, see how it looks. Look at this three little stars here. Yep, I think it's good. So we've got the little ones going in and out, and we've got the big ones rotating back and forth. All right, so that was the third star. Now one more, one more white star over here on the right side. Click on it, hit move, move and scale, set it to performance mode. Click on the three dots, edit our anchor point, and put it right down there at the bottom. Okay, and again, it wasn't, the performance mode wasn't on for some reason. Get that little curve line and here we go. Just gonna rock our star back and forth. Here we go. And we're at our 10 second mark. So there's all of our stars done. Looks good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take care of our clouds. So let me find 
the clouds I think that's that black one right there so what we're gonna do we're gonna do this perform performance mode also which makes things so much easier and quicker move move and scale click on the performance mode and we're just gonna move him back and forth and back and forth very slowly All right, and we're past our 10 second mark. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, looks good. Okay, next thing we want to do is another cloud. Let me find our clouds. So I've got this big gray one right here. We'll do it next. Click on the clacker there, move, move and scale. Set your performance mode ready. And as soon as we start moving, it's going to start recording. And I'm going to kind of move them at different speeds. That way it don't look like they're uniformed. All right, we're past it. See what that looks like. Yep, I like it. Okay, let's do another one. So we'll do that little gray cloud we got over there on that side next. So that one is, I think it's that one. Yeah. So you can always turn off the layer on and off. The little check box right there and you can tell if you're on the right layer or not. But most of the time when you select it, it'll put a box around it. Okay, click on it, move, move and scale. Hit performance mode. And as soon as we start moving our finger, it'll start recording. So you're going to rock it back and forth, and I'm looking down here in the bottom left, and once it's past that 10 second mark, we are done. So we've got all of our clouds, we've got all of our stars done now. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Yep, a lot of things going on in the background, that's good. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, I want to make this really kind of cute and very interactive so we're gonna move our heels next so I'm gonna to go to the light blue one that's here in the front and what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know what we can performance mode this one too let's make everything easy today so I'm going to click on it hit move move and scale and we're just gonna rock it up and down and up and down so I'm gonna hit performance mode and as soon as we move our finger it'll start moving and we're past the 10 seconds all right let's see what that looks like yep I like it okay let's move the other one that's behind it so what I'm going to do with that one is, where is that one? Right here. So the first thing I want to do is make it bigger because I want, I'm going to animate this one left and right. And it's not got enough space on the edges right there. So I might accidentally go beyond it and then you're going to see that line of it. So what I'm going to do is make this bigger first. So I'm going to hit my keyframe and hit move move and scale and then I'm gonna make this bigger so I'm gonna stretch it out some about like that about that is good all right then we're gonna hit performance mode and then as soon as we move our finger it's gonna start moving so I'm just gonna rock this one back and forth like we did our clouds Okay, and it's past the 10 second mark. So let's see what that looks like. Yep, it looks good. All right, we got all kinds of things moving around in the background right there. All right, so now for our main focus, we got our UFO to do. So what I'm going to do is find the layer that the UFO is on. And I think it's that one right there. And the first thing we're gonna do, move, move and scale. And we're gonna take that little dude right off the edge of the screen over there. 
is going to start off the edge of the screen. Okay, and then we're going to come out, I think, about one second. So that's right there, one S. All right, and then what I want that thing to do is I want it to move in scale again. And you're going to have that guy come right there and stop. All right, let's see if that's good enough. He didn't move at all because it didn't make a next keyframe. All right, so again, one second, click on it. Maybe that's what I did wrong. And then we're going to move him over to about right there. Okay, let's see if that's fast enough. Yep, I like it. So I wanted it to move in kind of quick. All right, now what I want to do is when that UFO moves across the screen right there, what I want it to do is make these trees move. So the wind from the UFO is going to make these trees sway. So about right there, I think is where, I think about right there is where it will make those trees start swaying. Okay, so I'm gonna go and find my tree. There's one, there's another one. Okay, so let's do this little one first. So what we're gonna do is move, move in scale. I want to click on the three dots right there and I want to edit the anchor point to be right down here on the bait bottom of the uh, trunk there okay and then about right there the tree is going to start leaning over to the left all right so what I'm going to do is click move and scale again and I am going to I guess we should set a keyframe first to be normal but for some reason oh there it is I couldn't see the keyframes so this keyframe here we're gonna rotate our tree maybe about 10 degrees All right, and then when the UFO passes, maybe we'll make it move over a little bit more. So let's do 15. I did 12. One more time. 15. All right, so that's gonna make it move over a little bit more. Okay, and then when it passes, it's going to Let's rotate it back to zero. And actually, maybe let's move it back to about f minus five. So that's going to snap back. And then we'll move it over just a little bit more. And then we'll make it go to zero. So it's going to kind of overcompensate. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's, I think, the, I'm going to hold down where the keyframes are. I'm going to set all the easings to linear. That way they won't speed up or slow down. They'll just be all one movement. I think what I don't like about it is it's popping back into place a little too quick. So I think from here to here, we're going to spread those out a bit. And this one right here too. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, let's see the whole thing. Phew, yeah, okay, I like that much better. Alright, now let's move the big one. So we'll go up to that tree, we'll set the base, move, move and scale, we'll set the base uh, keyframe where it's in that standing position, and then 
will start to rotate this one move move and scale and then we'll rotate it to about five and then we'll move it over a little bit more and we'll rotate it again till it's at 10 okay and then we'll move it over a little bit more and we can look at the other one we can see that it starts to move back so let's move it again move and scale and we're going to move this one to uh, maybe minus five I guess we can actually move it to zero and then move it over a little bit more and move it to minus five and then we could snap it back into place to zero again. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so we got our trees moving as our UFO comes. Uh, so let's do the beam next. So the beam is right here. So it's not going to show up until we get to right there. So I'm going to click on the clacker there. We're going to edit and we're going to split the track and the one in front here we're going to delete it so as soon as it gets to right there now we're going to keyframe it we're going to move it and move and scale and then we're going to put this thing all the way up where we can't see it at all so about right there okay and then we're going to come out maybe almost to two seconds and now we're going to click on it let me see make sure we can see these keyframes click on it move move and scale and now we're going to start stretching that sucker out okay so about right there and then we're going to move it out a little bit more and then we'll stretch it out some more and we need to bring it down same thing just over a little bit more make it bigger bring it down so I think about right there is good where it's got the cow in it now I don't want the cow to show until the beam comes over it so I'm going to go up to about right there where the cow is not in the frame yet gonna go up to the cow click on it edit and split the track and then that one in front we're gonna delete so it the cow is not gonna appear actually we can probably slide that over a little bit more so the cow is not gonna appear until the light shines on it okay and then it gets down to there now we can start moving our cow so we're gonna hit move move and scale and what I want it to do is I want the cow to start to rise so we're going to actually I'm going to delete that keyframe we're just going to move the cow and then I want to rotate the cow so I'm going to edit the anchor point down to the bottom of his feet here All right. and move and scale click on the edge and I want him to start to turn we can actually move him over a bit okay so he's gonna come down he's gonna start to go up alright then we're gonna move it over a little bit more alright it is not cooperating with me right now here we go and now make it a little bit smaller and then also want to rotate him a little bit more So about like that all right let's see what that looks like yep all right and then move it out a little bit more all right we're gonna raise him up some I wonder why it does that I really like to know if you guys know why it's doing that I sure would like to know so maybe we'll have to hit move and 
moving scale again so it for it to work correctly and now we'll shrink it a little bit more we're gonna rotate them a little bit more so let's see what that looks like yep I like it and then I'm gonna bring in the playhead out a little bit more we'll click on it again and then we're gonna move them up more shrink him a little bit more and then rotate him where he's probably perpendicular here okay see what that looks like yep it's pretty smooth move it out a little bit more move him up shrink him some move it out a little bit more move him up more shrink him a little more and I think that's all it's gonna be for as far as size goes I'm gonna move it out a little bit more and then we'll just have him go all the way up in there okay so now when he disappears he's not gonna be in the animation anymore so I'm going to put my playhead where it's up here on the track itself click on it edit and we're gonna split it and then the back side of that we don't need anymore so the cow is gone okay so let's see what that looks like yep okay it looks good now we just need to retract our beam so once that cow disappears about right there we're gonna make that beam start going back up so we're gonna click on it and we're going to start shrinking it so I'm gonna shrink it and I'll make it go up inside the ship a bit a little bit more over shrink it some more bring it up same thing over shrink it bring it up over shrink it bring it up and so on and so on until it is gone all right and now that it's gone we don't need it in the animation anymore so I'm going to put the playhead up on the track itself click on it edit split and then we're going to delete that back half all right so we've got everything done we just need to get our UFO to get out of here so we'll find the layer that the UFO is on which is right there make sure I can see what's going on here all right we're gonna have move and scale and maybe I'll do a performance mode on this one so I'm gonna click on the little circle here because I you know what not right there over there so for some reason I guess I touched it and it went back where the beam was still showing so we want it over here where the beam is gone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, make it go back a little bit like it's building up some power and then I'm gonna make it shoot off to the side right there so I think performance mode is easier to do that with alright so as soon as I start moving my finger it will start moving <laughs> boy it sure likes to mess with me maybe there's not enough space so I guess what I'll do is so I'm, it moves back a little bit and then from here move move and scale and then we'll move move and scale and we'll make it shoot off the side over there alright let's see what that looks like okay I think it looks good so I'm gonna add a little bit of sound to it and then I will show you the final animation I hope this video has helped you guys out on using procreate dreams it was fun to do I just love doing alien scenes and monster scenes and stuff uh, it was really fun and I've done another a uh, alien ship one before actually uh, that's also on the channel you can go check that out and with that I hope you guys have enjoyed it 
uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and check out the patreon if you want to get all of the assets for the videos that i do every week and with that i will see you guys next week take care